Welcome back to another video brought to you by ISCA Engineering. We are continuing our series in motors and control systems. In the last video, we covered a few transistors, the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, MOS FET, and insulated gate bipolar transistor, IGBT. In today's video, we will be looking at integrated circuits. ICs. We will cover the component and its uses. Before we dive into the video, if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, then please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment. Also hit the notification button so you won't miss any of the new videos uploaded. Integrated circuits, microchip or chip, is an assembly of electronic components fabricated as a single unit in which miniaturized active devices and passive devices and their connections are built up on a thin substrate of semiconductor material. The electronic components consist of resistors, transistors, and capacitors which are connected together to achieve a common goal. Operational amplifiers op -amps, are voltage amplifying devices designed to be used with components like capacitors and resistors between its in slash out terminals. They are often used in conjunction with signals from sensors connected in control circuits. The example shows the symbol for an op amp. The op amp has two inputs and a single output. The inverting input, negative, produces an output that is 180 degrees out of phase with the input. The second input, the non-inverting input, positive, produces an output that is in phase with the input. The DC power supply terminals are noted as positive V and negative V. The supply power will be determined by the type of output the op amp is required to produce. Op amps are connected in different ways to perform different functions. The example shows the op amp circuit configured as an AC inverting amplifier. Two resistors set the value of the voltage gain of the amplifier. Resistor R2 is the input resistor and R1 is the feedback resistor. The ratio of the resistance value of R2 to R1 sets the voltage gain of the amplifier. The op amp amplifies the input voltage and inverts its polarity. The output signal is 180 degrees out of phase with the input signal. The gain from the circuit is calculated as follows, R1, 500 kilo ohms, divided by R2, 50 kilo ohms, yields a op amp gain of 10. The example shows an op amp circuit as a differential amplifier or voltage comparator. The circuit is operated with a standard DC power supply and without a feedback circuit. Resistor R1 and R2 form a fixed reference voltage input V2, which is set from the ratio of the two resistors. Resistors LDR and R3 form the voltage input V1. When light level sensed by the LDR drops and the variable output voltage drops below the reference voltage at V2, the output from the op amp changes, activating the relay and switching the connected load. As the light level increases, the output will switch back, turning the relay off. The preset resistor, R3, can be adjusted to increase or decrease resistance. The 555 timer IC is used as a timer in circuits requiring precision timing as well as an oscillator to provide pulses needed to operate digital circuits. The internal circuitry of the chip is made up of transistors, diodes, and resistors. The example shows the way the timer is used as an interval timer. The time period is determined by the value of the two external timing components R and C. When the switch opens, the external capacitor is held discharged by a transistor inside the timer. When the switch is closed, it releases the short circuit across the capacitor and triggers the LED into conduction. This point is when the timing period begins. Capacitor C starts to charge through resistor R. 
When the charge on the capacitor reaches two-thirds of the source voltage, the timing period ends and the LED is automatically switched off. During this time, the capacitor discharges to be ready for the next triggering sequence. A microcontroller is an ultra-large scale integrated circuit that functions as a complete computer on a chip containing a processor, memory, and input slash output functions. Microcontrollers are most often embedded or physically built into the device they control. An embedded microcontroller is designed to do some specific task, rather than to be a general purpose computer for multiple tasks. They often run with limited computer hardware resources, small or no keyboard and screen, and little memory. The example shows the way a microcontroller is used to control the operation of the inverter section of a variable speed drive. The rotating speed of the induction motor is determined by the frequency applied to the stator, not the applied voltage. However, the voltage must also drop to prevent excessive current flow through the stator at low frequencies. The microcontroller controls the voltage and frequency and sets the proper stator voltage for any given input frequency. This concludes the video over integrated circuits. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. In the next video, we will be looking at digital logic. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at ISCA underscore engineering underscore. The links will be provided in the description. There we post content on electricity, controls, automation, and much more. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.